a bit nervous here because inside this abandoned asylum here in California, by the way, there's people inside right now cleaning as we're trying to film this video. They don't know we're here. I just want to say Rise Above merch is now for sale again. We're stocked, we're back up in the game, we're selling everything as much as we can. Thank you all for the support of those who have been buying the merch. You definitely don't want to cancel out this video. You want to watch it throughout the end. It's going to be an insane one. I already feel it. My heart's pumping. I'm a bit nervous here because inside this abandoned asylum here in California, by the way, there's people inside right now cleaning as we're trying to film this video. They don't know we're here. And so, yeah, we're kind of just on a ninja mission trying to film a video. I mean, it's, it's really hard to ever even find this place. It's hard to even get inside this place, hiking through the mountains. This place opened up in the 1920s. It's a huge campus. I'm talking massive. We got ballparks, we got running tracks, we got a freaking carousel here. We got child daycare for the workers and nurses and everyone and the doctors who used to live here. We got grocery stores. Everything was here on this campus. This is for, this is an asylum. This was a whole asylum where like everyone that was, you know, crazy obviously and stuff like that would go here and they would pretty much stay here their whole life. So they needed everything to be right here for everyone. Everyone had, no one had to leave. Everything was here. There's a water tank. They built their, they made their food here. It's like a huge farm here. Everything is here. It closed in the late 2000s. What's interesting about the place is that during World War II, a lot of people was even sent here and it was filled up over capacity. So a lot, too many people was here. It was getting overcrowded. But what's interesting about this asylum is that everyone was still kept up and nice. Everyone was still being treated fairly. A lot of asylums on the East Coast, everyone's getting treated wrong. Deaths happen, but not here. This asylum, the patients, they were, they were treated good, which is like the first time I've ever heard any asylum where like people were, were actually treated fairly here. So that's super interesting to hear. Now I've said this in many videos before, but the reason why this place closed down for good is that obviously they came up with new medicines during the like the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and even 80s. Like they just kept building new medicines, new medicines that was making the patients just get calmer, think straight, things were getting a lot easier, where they didn't need asylums no more. So they didn't need this place anymore. Let's go film this video. See that? Full power. Now we're entering the only surgical room left here that actually has things inside of this place of the hospital that we're starting off in has been pretty much cleaned out. But there's still dentist chairs. We got a morgue in the basement that's untouched. And like I said, the last surgical room is here. We're on the second floor and that's where we're starting on this whole adventure. Stay tuned and keep on watching. And we also have R and K of course, who are with us. Man, these guys are the power couple of you two for Abandoned. So you gotta check them out. Their link is in the description below. Everything that we've been doing lately, all the crazy Abandoned, thanks to these guys. We've been going hard as a group too. Friend squad. Yeah, we are, dude. This thing is sick, look how huge this light is. I know, I know. This is one of the biggest lights I've seen for surgical lights. Huh? We just said it, man. It's it was one definitely one of the biggest ones we've seen. seen. It's true, it's and true. We've seen a lot. I know exactly. We've seen so many lights, but this one is a massive. It's because of how old it was back in the day. Yeah, there's people all outside working right now. Yeah, that's it's crazy. scary. I'm, I'm actually filming that. <laughs> What's weird is that there's some sort of like red blood on it. It's, it's, uh, looks like fake blood or candy. Just think about this. Many people have been on this bed 
being cut open and, and stitched back up. Voila. I'm pretty sure that inside here was like the scissors, the operating stuff, the medicine, the jars of God knows what they put in there, but yeah. So massive. Yeah. My personal favorite thing about this place are these signs right here. I've only ever seen them in like American Horror Story and maybe in one Kirkbride way back in the day. Really old asylums. Check this sign out. First floor has um dentist chairs, but we don't know where those dentist chairs are yet. But the hallways here? Super sick. You can tell that this was a legit asylum. Definitely a lot of war doors. Look how many people died on Monday. Look how many people died on Tuesday. 47 total people died that week. Amputes, right? amputations, life saved, accidents and burns, accidents. But then right here, the math doesn't add up. The life saved only shows four. Just that's all you can look through is this, and the rooms are really small. All the patients were just, you know, they had the bed right there, usually in the corner, and just a window. your leg you break whatever you're in a coma you can't walk anymore you gotta get your muscles used to it you're on this thing right here could take months or whatever to start walking again but you'd hold the rails and just keep working it getting your muscles back in shape abandoned dentist chairs ever and that was one in Japan and one was in New York so this is cool I actually think this is funny this office proudly recommends Crest which is the toothpaste yes we're open <laughs> nope cute hospital administration audiology barber and beauty shop Dude. cafeteria um, something Conservation Corp, Snack and Shop, Central Program Service, Chaplain's Office, Client Records, Credit Union, Daycare Center, Donations, Fashion Center, Foster Grand. Okay. Explain. 
explorers. I That's see. what I'm saying. This place had everything. We go to these abandoned places. We know that we need to find a surgical room. We need to find the dentistry. And we need to find, you know, yada, yada, whatever. You know, we make it like a goal. So when we explore these places, we're exploring, but we're also, we have a goal. We need to find these things. So it makes the thing or the adventure we're doing more meaningful and more exciting. Like, yeah, we just found it. Mission complete, right? We're literally gonna go back to where we started, take the elevator into the basement because people are right there moving and anytime they can just walk in this hallway and see us. First time ever doing the abandoned elevator, let me tell you. I can't believe we're doing this. Do we just take the elevator? I think we're just gonna take the elevator. This is amazing. This is in honor of Scotty P. He's the elevator man. Oh man, I'm scared. Shaking. Oh my god. I'm bugging out. Right I know I'm bugging out so bad. Please stop at me. Please stop at me. Oh yes. Sometimes that we're going to hell. Oh my god. X-ray. This is where we needed to go. the door so he took his shoe off and oh, <laughs> how to do it you know nice. for the team awesome. yep. awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna put my light on yeah. there's two machines there's another one oh this cool. is nice they, the power they cut the whole power off That's a wrap. This might be one of my favorite explorers I've ever done, just because of the the people, the elevator. Like, it's a mission, man. It's a real mission. What could be protected in there? Yeah. Yeah, we found it. Thank God. Oh my God, yes. Bingo. So sick. Oh, dude. Yeah. Explorers, if you don't know, that's where all the bodies go into, so they can hold six bodies at one time here. Oh, man. People have been, you know, dead laying on there. You want to go in? Why in the hundreds of thousands of people have been dead lying on here? Explorers, if you don't know what a morgue is, this is literally where the body is being laid. They're gonna cut you right open. All the blood drains through here. Goes down here. I don't know where it goes after that. <laughs> and after they're all done with you, they put you back together or whatever and. They throw you inside the freezers usually, or they ship you out somewhere. <sighs> We're here in the basement. And they're usually always in basements because they try, obviously they, they want to hide it from everyone. And over here, I mean, it's pretty much labeled for you, but look at this. Knives, body tray, bone saw, 
I mean, it's it's there for you. It's all there. All right, guys, we're done. We we explored the whole entire hospital, and we are about to head outside. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. But we're, we're locked in. We're stuck. Locked in. Damn it. All right, we're gonna find another way out, but we are done. We cleared this hospital, we explored it all, and it's, dude, it feels great, man. It feels super great to, to finally be done here. Now we're gonna shut the lights, boom. Yep, we save electricity. All right, here it is, right, 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 boom! There it is. Just a chill carousel. I'm loving how the paint is chipped on the horses, so it looks really a bit, it looks a bit freaky, to be honest. I mean, really though, we covered about everything. There's like some empty pools that we're looking at too. And I know some buildings could have some awesome things inside, but we don't really know, but we know that we covered the best of the best. So that's okay. <sighs> wow, it's actually- It's really it's hot, hot out now. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, the humidity di is different it was, here, it man. It was nice and cool inside of there. Yeah, it really oh, was. Climate control. And plus, I didn't even eat yet all yeah. day. So I'm hungry. That pretty much means we're gonna go to In-N-Out. Like we, we have to. We didn't eat all day. All day. R&K all, all day. All day. Go check them out. Links in the description below. I'm out of here. Explorers just got out there exploring. Thanks for watching. Peace and check out the merch.